A piece of family history is back home in Central Texas tonight, but how it got here is quite the story. Here's KITV's Erica Miller with tonight's cover story. 71 years ago today, this man, 31-year-old Clarence Doherty, an Austin firefighter and soldier, lost his life in World War II. He left behind a wife and five-year-old daughter. She would tell stories about when they were a kid, you know, when she was a kid growing up, but she never mentioned that he was a firefighter or, or any of his past history. And, says granddaughter Kathy Murchison Hayes, her mother never mentioned a Purple Heart. I just, I can't even believe it. Crystal Garcia found it at an estate sale in Colleen earlier this year and bought it for just 20 bucks. But when she saw Doherty's name etched on the back, she started digging. And I, I'm just, I'm holding this and I'm just like, oh my God, you know? That search brought her to Austin Fire Station number seven and today. He wasn't just a, a soldier, he was a firefighter too. It sounds like the guy gave his all. Well, they never knew it existed, having this piece back home means a lot to Doherty's family too. She had a grandpa, a great grandpa, who's a hero. It's. It's such an honor. Now that the Purple Heart is back home with the Austin Fire Department, it will go on display at the department's museum for everyone to come and see. Reporting in Southeast Austin, Erica Miller, KITV News. Mm. Four Austin firefighters died during World War II. The museum plans to honor all of them in that upcoming exhibit. In San Marcos tonight, a special screening about a World War II hero. The city was one of four places chosen to screen the movie 4443. The sneak peek was held at the San Marcos Airport at the commemorative Air Force hangar. It chronicles the heroic escape of William Edwin Dias of Albany, Texas. Dias was captured by the Japanese during World War II and held as a prisoner of war. His escape is called one of the most daring in history. World War II veterans we spoke with agree. He got away from the Japanese and I've had other friends who were prisoners of war during that time. and. He was very successful, and he, you know, he, he was truly a hero. The documentary will air on PBS later this year.